Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the final day of the Ocala RV Show. Actually, I'm lying. If you're watching this, this means the Ocala RV Show's over, but don't worry. Today, we're looking at Class Bs, and we're still gonna be able to honor the pricing and everything, so don't worry about that. And with us today is Hi. Miss Becky B. Hey. Becky, how do people get a hold of you? If you click the link below, it'll take you to Becky's Cash. Becky's Cash, that is a version of Matt's Cash. So when you guys fill out Matt's Cash, that goes to my internet team. Yes. When you fill out Becky's Cash, that goes directly to Becky. And Becky, the show's now over. What do you want to say to everybody who, who met you this weekend? Thank you guys, I met a lot of you this weekend. It was really nice to see so many people that watch Matt's channel and recognize me. So thank you guys very much for all the support. Yeah, and I want to let you know, Becky is a very special salesperson. Um, I hate calling her a salesperson. She really becomes friends with her customers and there were so many of them that I got to meet and it just makes me feel good that you know they're coming up to me telling much how much they love Becky. I mean I had customers telling me that they were staying at her Harvest Toast at her house in Michigan yes. and you know this isn't this isn't a car sale. This no. is a huge relationship Absolutely. and I just want to give kudos to Becky. Thank you Matt. With Thanks. that said the show's <laughs> over. Contact Becky if you see something you like because Becky will be your friend and go to bat for you to help get you the best price in America. Becky, let's get started with Ooh. one of my new favorite motorhomes. One of my new favorite motorhomes. The Integra too. Expanse. So this is yeah. built on the Ford Transit chassis, chassis, which is one of my favorite chassis. Yes, ma'am. So I'm very excited about it. And it's the 22 foot one, so it's a little bit bigger, which gives you a little bit more space, dual wheels in the back. So this the outside is beautiful, isn't it, Matt? I yes. just love it. I really do. It's very sleek, modern, lots of windows on the outside. You know, Integra really went above and beyond on this motorhome. Ooh, they did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. All right, let's Seriously though, all on. seriousness, the oh, the Ford Transit chassis is phenomenal. I love the stitching in the seat. It's gorgeous. And Becky, How I, big this counter? I don't know if you watch all the videos, but you are starting to change my opinion on fan life. Guys, here's what happened. No, no, show, show, show us this and I'll tell everybody what happened. Okay, so here you have your galley kitchen, induction, power, power sink. You have nice storage down here for trash can. Really like, and convection microwave. Yes, ma'am. Lots of cupboards that open and lock. Uh, Dang, they lock lock. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, there. There you is, go. That one just might be broken. And look, it's like soft in there. It's all, so it'll give you um, sound deadening. Yes. Now back here, folding sofa that makes into a bed. But also you can work here, you can eat here, you have a TV here. This becomes your area for a lot of things. Three additional seat belts, so seating for five. Um, and then this is power, so literally you hit a button, this will fold down. And you can make this whole area into a bed. But wow. Do that. And, oh, big fridge. Off the floor, Matt. Look how big it is. Wow. Ooh. Very nice. Now, okay. I want you to do the bathroom. Really? Yes. Yes, Oops. really. I know. I saw the face. Okay, ready? I want you to do this bathroom because... This ain't bad. See? Okay, so I so had... It's plastic. Okay, all right. But with that said, I mean, it really is one of the most spacious B-Van bathrooms. Um, it's kind of crazy. It's still not a prime poop position, but you know, but it look, gets the job done. You have so much space in there, good, see? Yeah, yeah, no, no. Okay, so here's what happened, America. Follow me, Becky. All right. So we're at the Jacksonville show. By the way, Becky and all the team at General RV, like, I, I, I know it looks like we're all, we're always all over the place during show season. Uh, Becky was in Michigan, Florida a dozen times, Utah. So like, thank you for traveling so much and meeting everybody, Becky. But uh, thank you. Oh, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> Thanks then, for having me. No, yeah. <laughs> but so we're at the Jacksonville show, and I'm like, Becky, why would anybody buy this and go camping in it, right? When this is cheaper? She's like, Matt, you keep comparing this to this, and you gotta stop doing that. This, when you look at this like a camper, it is small. But look at this like a vehicle. This is this is not a small camper. This is a big vehicle. She's like, somebody like you would be perfect to have one of these because you could use it as your daily cook driver. And then Becky knows my history here. And she's <laughs> like, and if you ever have an emergency, 
you have a bathroom, you have a little office, you can bring your dog to work with you and leave him in here with the AC. And I'm all like, wow. When you put it that way, when I think of bee vans as campers, I think they suck, period. <laughs> when I now think of bee vans as vehicles, cars, yeah. it's all like, oh. Rolling around with a bathroom. Right, right. Refrigerator. Show us what. Thing. Yes, right. ma'am. So here's a whole room. All a right. Run through of all of these. Yeah. Um, all right. This is the smallest Ram chassis. Okay, 18 feet. This is called the Thor Scope. I like to refer this to as the one man van. One man van. One man or, van. Or woman van. Or one, yeah. A single, most single women are buying this because this becomes your bed here. Yes, ma'am. This whole thing does pull out. You can make this into a large bed. However, a lot of people just use this as one single bed like that so you can still get space to go to your bathroom at night. This is a big rear bath. I have lots and lots of space in here. Yes. So, kitchen here on your campsite, everything you need. Bada bing, bada boom. Little tiny van. Nice little fridge. Can't beat it. And again, it's just like. Simple, easy. So me personally, Becky's trying, try, starting to change my opinion. But the one thing that I'll never do, I'll personally never take one of these vans to like Margaritaville for a week. But, you know, some people do. But you could take it to Margaritaville and go and stay at one of those like. Cat, yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. Aha, uh -huh. okay. This is the new Thor Sculpt with a pop top that's not up. <laughs> well, it's well, very windy. It's, yeah, that's probably why. Don't, yeah, I okay, wouldn't put it so up. The, the ladder you would use to get up there. So additional sleeping for, I would say, two children, one adult. You have a nice little seat here for riding. So this has seating for four. Okay. And sleeping for four. And Matt, it's only 18 feet. Wow. Did we have a price on this? Uh, well, 134. It's at ninety six nine nine five. Can't beat that. Can't beat it. Well, I mean, you could. I'll show you that. Could be so at ninety five nine nine five. It could be with Becky's cash. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> um, you see the Murphy bed here? Yep. Okay, but you still have all the storage. Wow. Dog crates, skis, lumber at the store, whatever you need. Now, if you want to get it out of the way, <sighs> it's that easy. And now you have access to go right out your back door. But now you have this whole area for cargo. You go out the back door. The bike racks there. Oh, okay. Okay. The crazy bike racks. See, we we keeping one door shut so that oh, we're yeah. not trying to hit anybody. Oh yeah, those bike racks. That, <laughs> anyone cut out? Those bike racks. They they have no uh no sympathy for anybody. So right here, we got a great sale price on the sequence 20L, and this one's one of your favorite B vans as well, right? This is. I I really like the floor plan on this. Okay. This is, it's the number one selling floor plan for couples. Yeah. Because. Two twin beds, rear bath, lots of space, easy to get through, easy to get back out. You can make this into one large bed if you choose Okay. To, right? But then during the daytime, this side becomes your couch. So that's your campsite. You have your TV here, you can close your screen. You can put a table here, eat, work, play cards. Perfect. Kitchen, can't beat it. Beautiful. Right? Okay. Becky, before we go on to the next one, I gotta do a quick shout out. Guys, Lippert just opened up registration for RV Owner School. Lippert's RV Owner School is a program that provides technical training and maintenance tips for RV owners straight from the source. It's hosted at Lippert's Technical Institute in Mishawaka, Indiana and offers a nationally recognized in-depth technical hands-on training experience. There are several reasons why RV owners should consider signing up for Lippert's RV Owner School. Firstly, the program provides valuable knowledge and skills for maintaining and troubleshooting RV components. This can save RV owners time and money by avoiding costly repairs and identifying potential problems before they become major issues. Additionally, attending the program provides an opportunity to connect with other RV owners from across the country, allowing for networking and sharing of experiences and tips. And attendees also receive some cool Lippert swag. Overall, Lippert's RV Owner School is a great opportunity for RV owners who want to improve their technical knowledge and maintenance skills, connect with other RV owners, and receive some cool swag along the way. Guys, click our link down below. Registration's now open from April through August is the dates of the training. We've linked Lippert's Owner School down below. We learned so much when we went the first yes. time, and we know you guys are going to learn a lot too. Thanks so much. See ya.
we're back. Okay, ready? Yes. Oh. Bees, bees. Oh, we even got some seeds. Ooh. I thought that song was so funny. That was, we might have to do that. Okay. You know, I would show that song on it's YouTube, so but you know, we'll get in trouble with YouTube. Oh, really? But you got, I mean, you guys got a friend Becky if you want to hear that song. Oh my God, yeah, it's on my Facebook. I did post that, it was classic. Yes. Okay, this is the Thor sequence 20. J. Okay, 1099. 1099. Um, this one has one, two, three, four, five, six seat belts. Okay. Okay. Seating for six. You can do this with a pop top as well. This one does not have the pop top. Um, it's a good floor plan for families. Yeah. Or moms that are going to traveling sports and games and all of the different activities that you're taking your kids to. Yeah. You have a bathroom, a refrigerator, a place to make a sandwich, take a nap, do your work. Just like that. Get away from whatever you're trying to get away from. Okay? Yes. All right. I like this one. I like it better with the pop top because then you would have... Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. Okay. Next one, we got a couple Thor sanctuaries here. Now you can do a sanctuary on. This one is the 4x4. Four four. Okay. You can also do it on the 4x2. Why would somebody want a 4x4 four four and why would somebody want a 4x2? Somebody that is going to be 4x4, four four, like myself. I live in Michigan. I also do a lot of off-roading crazy stuff. Yep. I need it for snow. We got 10 inches of snow, I think, today. Nice. Yes. Um, now, 4x2, four somebody lives down here in Florida, like you, Matt. I mean... Wow. Well, do you have 4x4 four four in your truck? Wow. Do you have 4x4 four four in your truck? I actually do. Oh, okay. But I've never right, used right, it. Right, right, right. <laughs> hey, yeah. hey, America. you never even used it? Nissan Titan. <laughs> <laughs> I got it for the aesthetics. Oh, okay. Well, I've I'm used, that guy. I've used mine like, you know, a few times already this year. Yeah. Thing, so, <laughs> but four by two, if you're not going to be doing a lot of off-roading adventure stuff, you don't need to do four by four. Save yourself the money by the four by two. There you go. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, outdoor bar, little speaker that comes with it. Um, this, this is kind of like the Winnebago Revel. If you guys know the Revel. Okay. At all. And I'm, I like that the seat is this way because it gives you a lot more space. When you walk in the Rebel, it's really tight because the seat goes that way. Yep. But this is nice. Little area. Fixed bed in the back. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. if you look underneath there, uh -huh. that's what this van is all about. That storage. All of that storage. Wow. Because this is going to be a very adventure buyer or a business person mm. that's going to be traveling or literally a traveling from Michigan to Florida and they throw all of their stuff under there. Like liquefied. Their <gasps> you could have liquefied. Hey, I'm a business person who travels from Michigan to Florida. Wow, you sound like a bee van buyer. No, you better, you better. <laughs> hey, you better watch your mouth. <laughs> I mean, you sound like a bee van. Just too bad. What See? I, I, I just, I'm not a bee van buyer. I just don't enjoy flying. Okay. Well, if you don't enjoy flying, you like motor homing, right? Motor homing. Like motor homing. Yep. But then you also like hoteling or staying at friend's house. Yeah. Yeah. I stayed at Becky's house. Yeah. So wait. Wait, I'm confused then. So why wouldn't you buy a... Um, Just continue the oh. show. Okay, all right. All right, another sanctuary floor plan with the folding oh, sofa. Dang. Do that door went, that door? door went flying. Oof. Okay, folding sofa, which you guys know, I love the floor plan of this. Just yes. because it gives you, like I said, a lot of versatility. Yes. More seatbelts, you have seating for five, kitchen, bathroom here. You know, little bathroom, but this is really all you need. Right, just for emergencies. Emergencies. Nice Mercedes cockpit area, good driving experience. Nice very, kitchen. Very, yeah. very nice. Now all these vans too will have awnings and lights. Both yes. Of them will have solar. Yes. They will have generators or lithium systems. These are all fully off the grid. So all of them have some sort of power source. Yes, if there is, well, we'll say 95%. 95? Yes. Call Becky to figure out what the other 5% is. Yes. This one here, 116.9. Winnebago, gotta love Winnebago. They build a great quality van. You guys will not be disappointed if you buy a Winnebago. I mean, I could give you 500 reasons why I like Winnebago. You know what I'm I mean, saying? I mean, I it give really- I 500 more. It really does. I mean, it's this, it's that. Meet the Winnebago Solus. You know what I'm saying? Bada bing, bada boom. Sing, print. Pop top. Just to look, it's Pop so top. funny. It's so funny, Becky, because I don't know if you know this. I particularly give Winnebago a hard time. Why? In their class C's and class oh. A's. Okay. With their B's and oh. B pluses, number one by far. You know what I'm saying? It's just I I just wish that you know they're 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 working on it with their C's and their A's, 
and I, I just feel like, you know, they're not as competitive versus the competitors. But in the Class B game, they kill it. I mean, yeah, you close. can't you can't say Class Bs without with a bego. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and they just do a lot of really fun features like that. Yeah, I mean, it's just smart. It's silly, but it's not when you're trying to hold up a cabinet and then you can't load it. And they close. Um, nice bathroom, folding door, which this this is cool because this gives you privacy yep. if you're in the back or yep. up here to change and not have to close all the windows. Right. Oh, Murphy bed. I love the Murphy bed concept because look at all of this storage space. Love it. And you get more storage under here. Very I'll nice. I'll show you guys how easy it is. First, I'll show you that there is a little drop down table that you could put here too. Okay. But then I'm going to show you how easy it is to just drop the Murphy bed down. And that becomes your bed. Now, you have sleeping for four with a pop top. Okay. I will tell you that, in my professional opinion, and I've been up a lot of those pop tops. When a bagel makes the biggest pop top. There you go. I don't like, you know, confined spaces, so it's big up there. Yes. Okay. Now we're taking a look at another Integra. What's Wait. going on here? <laughs> okay, this is amazing. Talk. I, oh wait, this is the last one. This is the last one. We saved the best for last. I think we did. Integra I, Ethos 20. Oh, oh man. <laughs> Look at this floor plan. Okay, I'm not gonna lie though. They should have made this 20B. You wanna know why? Why? Because they should have named it after me. Oh. Because I told them to put the pop top on it. They listen. You know what? Integra's known for listening. They're so Ken good. Walters, the team, Carter. Carter. That, that they, Keith, they're great. They actually listen. Yep. And uh, I don't know if you know this, Becky, but on all the on all the class C's and class um, A's, we made them add piano hinges for under the dinette. And it's the little touches like that that just makes it good. Right. You can leave that down. Are you sure? Okay. Well, this is cool though. Look how. Yeah. So if you're riding, but first of all, let's just point out, Matt, there is four, not chairs. Seats. These are captain chairs, adult chairs. Yes. These little seats over here oh, are yeah. kid seats. First class. This is this is luxury. This yeah. is your traveling luxury party mobile tailgater. You know, when you talk about mom jealous. mobile, this is what I think. Everybody can have a seat. Everybody's safe with an over the strap seat belt, mm -hmm. but then there's like a little area for her to go. Look for at them the to big go. bathroom. Okay, maybe you should test this bathroom. Look how big. I don't know. Come on. All right, come on, come on, come, come on. on. Right. Come on, come, come on. Do it, Matt, do it. Come on, come on. I, I mean, I can try. I like to put you in these bathrooms. And it's still plastic. But? I mean, it's not bad. Okay. It's not gonna pass. I know, right. But it's not bad. Okay, well, let's see, we're getting better. You. Your face, I mean, you're, it's improving. What? Don't talk about my face. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, big fridge. Look at the big fridge. Sorry, I opened it the other way, but nice fridge, little freezer. Yes, ma'am. Off the floor. You have a microwave. Look at the big kitchen, though, Matt. Look how wow. big it is. Another TV with hidden storage in the back. Yes, ma'am. But if you are tailgating, you can flip this TV out and you can watch it outside. Oh, yeah. No, so I this look at big look how big but for see, a, a van yeah see i kind of like this it's kind of like a nice little look entertainment center you know what i'm saying right really really nice solid surface countertop induction it doesn't feel like a b van back here it's um, cool now sleeping is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt but you do got the pop top and you got a single bed right here you know what i'm saying but again this is going to be i think more of the daytime cruiser am i right or wrong Daytime cruiser for sure. And this, this just so you know, this pulls all the way over to here. Oh, it does. It does. So you can fit two adults on this. Okay. But remind you, you have that pop top so somebody could sleep up there too. There you go. So this, yes, luxury traveler cruiser. Absolutely. Becky, that is it. That's all the B vans. Now, even though the show's over, how does somebody get in contact with you on any B van or truthfully any RV at all? Well, you could click this the link below to Becky's cash and that lead will come. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> that lead will come directly to me and I will contact you. And just so you guys know, Becky sells every unit and every brand for General RV. She works out of the Wixom store. And so whatever works easiest for you guys, if you guys want to pick up in Utah or Michigan or Virginia or Florida, reach out to Becky and she'll take amazing care of you. Um, and again, guys, the one thing I really want to emphasize, um, it's 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 a different type of purchase from a car purchase. It is. Um, you know, Becky isn't just an ordinary salesperson. <laughs> She's really passionate about this job and she truthfully does yeah. become your friend and you know, everybody come here, come here, come here. Come here. Come here. 
got a wind tunnel. Oh, jeez. Okay. Everybody always asks, you know, Matt, why is Becky always in the videos? You know what I'm saying? Because she is so passionate about van life. She is starting to change my opinion on van life. And she really is just, truthfully, one of the best per pe people or persons I've ever met outside Aww. of the RV industry. So what I'm trying to say is, thanks, Becky. Aww. And she, she likes to kick my butt in that uh, extracurricular activities. And, and then post it on Facebook. Neither here nor there. I won't judge her for that. But if you guys truthfully want a phenomenal experience of purchasing, of making a top five most expensive investment in your lifetime, yeah. and it's not an investment that's going to raise in value, but it's it's an investment that's going to depreciate, but you're getting that happiness out of, right. reach out to Becky. Thanks, man. Anything else you want to say? No, I, I want to cry. No, don't cry. <laughs> guys, thank Thanks, you so man. much for watching. We're going to have Becky on later on this week. Make sure you click the Becky's cash. And, uh, and truthfully, if you don't want that experience, just fill out Matt's cash. You'll get hey, some. Let's do it. <laughs> I get some of those too, though. Hey, Not very many, though. Hey, I've seen you. There's, I've seen there, you. Yeah, I've seen you. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.